nirmana moha. Those who have given up both pride and delusion. Mana, pride. Moha, delusion. Pride in the sense of ego. And egocentric desires, the plurality. Nirmana moha. Illusory misconceptions that the world of objects and the emotions and thoughts can give us a permanent happiness. This is the illusion in which we generally run about, run for these objects. Nirmana moha. Those who have elevated themselves from, uh, from functioning in the levels of ego and egocentric desires. Jita Sangha Dosha, Jitam conquered. Sangha Dosha, all the evils that arise from Sangha attachment. So Nirmana Moha, Jita Sangha Dosha, two. Adhyatmanitya, those who are daily reading a little of the Adhyatmic textbooks and reflecting upon it, not that you reach there, but daily doing it for some time, thereby creating in your personality just more and more of the spiritual vasana. Adhyatmanitya, vidivurta kama. Totally retired from all selfish actions. Not that you don't act at all. Act for the benefit of others at all times. Not to gain a personal profit out of. Adhyatmanitya. Vinivurta kama. All desires have left you. Desires have left you because vasanas have been exhausted. Dandvair vimukta. Naturally, therefore, you are no more tossed up and down by the pairs of opposite. Joy and sorrow, success and failure, loss and gain, honor and dishonor. Pain and pleasure, this is what you call your life, up and down, tossed up and down, from which you have saved yourself. I asked earlier, in the earlier chapter, same question in Arjuna's mind. I have educated myself in various departments or arts and sciences. Nowhere have they ever interfered with my personal life. You are the guy. When I ask a question about the higher reality, why are you interfering with my personal life? Huh? Be a celibate. Don't overeat. Onwards to give up your mana and uh, pride and uh, delusions. Conquer your attachments and the consequent evils that arise from attachments. Constantly and regularly study your scriptures. Let all your desires retire. Thus bring yourself into equipoise and balance in the, in the changing vicissitudes of life. Experience in life. Why are you interfering in my personal life? You have nothing to do with it. It is my personal life. I may get excited, agitated. Why are you worried? You explain to me the truth. Full stop. Mm -hmm. All these conditions you have to create. If you want to directly to go into that state of experience. If you are studying what is sleep, how do people sleep? You want only an objective information and answer the questions in the question paper. Uh, you need not. But if you want to sleep, you let to create those conditions in you. Directly to go to experience of sleep.
Then you left. See? So there the teacher says, it is because of the uniqueness of the subject matter that you have come to my feet to study. It is not an objective science, or else I would have followed the methodology of the universities. But that methods, those methods of objective sciences are not available in the subjective study because this great truth, what it is, we cannot explain. We can only show you the path and you have to reach out and understand. Therefore, your discipline, personal discipline is unavoidable. <laughs> the difficulty is, sun doesn't shine there. Oh, sun never shine on God. Uh, uh, never understood. God comes out only in the night. Because sun cannot illumine him. He comes only in the night. <laughs> and that... Uh, in the night only. Na shashanga, nor the moon can light it up. Uh, 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 uh. So only in the dark fortnight, God moves about in the dark fortnight. Because sun cannot illumine him, therefore in the daytime he can't come. Moon doesn't illumine him because in the, therefore in the bright fortnight he can't come. So we must pray hard in the dark fortnight and go out from your house without a flashlight in your hand. And in the darkness you see Narayana standing there. <laughs> Jesus standing there. Na pavaka, nor fire can illumine you. These are the phenomenal lights sources of light, the sun, the moon, the stars, the lightning and fire are the only five sources of phenomenal light. None of the phenomenal lights can illumine him only means phenomenal lights can illumine only the world of objects. It does in the belong to the category of objects. It is a very subject. Then what is that? Yet gatva na nevartande. There having gone, there where having gone, there is no return. Taddhama parama mama, that is my parama supreme dhama. Dhama, supreme seed, sacred altar, the sacred seed of me is that state having gone which there is no return